our top five rankings coming into the season. Team top rankings. Five teams on paper. On paper. Yeah, excuse me. Um, on this day, June twenty second, twenty twenty two. You want to start off for us? I'll start it off. So um, I'm going to go from uh, one to five. Uh, I got the reigning defending Super Bowl champions, Los Angeles Rams. I mean, the team is just stacked. They put so much into it. I don't even need to go. Um, number two, I got my uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady is at your helm. You still got. I know Chris Godwin's coming off an injury, but we'll see how. Maybe they add another guy. I don't know, maybe a guy by the name of OBJ. Who knows? Um, you still got Mike Evans. You guys still got a team around them. I mean, it's it, they, it's Tom Brady. I'm, you know, never betting against Tom Brady. Um, number three, again, we're going on paper, Los Angeles Chargers. They've got a really good team all the way around. Good offense. People for uh, um, Justin Herbert to throw to. Um, Austin Eckler out of the backfield and he can uh, catch the ball. He's still got Joey Bosa on the D-line. Um, then I got the Buffalo Bills. Um, on team, I, I can't... The, the entire team, it, it's a very good team. They just added Von Miller to that team. Let's see how much of a big production he can give because, you know, it was really uh, Aaron Donald doing the heavy work and giving Von Miller more one-on-one coverage when he came to the Rams. And then... Uh, Maybe a shocker, but I don't think so because they've they've had the team for the past like three years since the guy that they drafted over a decade ago retired right when they started getting their stuff together. Um, and now they got Matt Ryan, uh, former MVP quarterback, made it to the Super Bowl. The Indianapolis Colts. I mean, there's really not really a weakness on that team. Like that team is stacked. You've got probably the best offensive lineman in the game right now in Quentin Nelson. Jonathan Taylor, arguably the best running back in the game. Now you've got Matt Ryan at the helm instead of uh, Jacoby Brissett. I, I just I think the Colts on paper, they, they look really good. Where do you rank Cincinnati? I don't have them ranked, but they're, they're probably right up there. They're probably right up there. Ooh, okay. Justin, you want yeah. to hit it? Yeah, sure. I I got a, a follow up with Brandon. And number one, I got to go with the defending champs. I mean, that team is just loaded with Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald on defense. And then you add one of the best middle linebackers in the game and Bobby Wagner on top of that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's that's frightening for any offense. So I got the Rams number one. Number two, sorry, Brandon, I'm going with the Buffalo Bills. I really think that they were just a coin flip away from going to a potential Super Bowl. And this season, they might right their wrongs and things will be all right. Josh Allen, Super Bowl all the way. Number three, I got Tom Brady and the Bucks. Having Tom Brady back in the fold is incredible. They lose Gronkowski now that he retired. But that team all in all is stacked from offense, defense, offensive line, special teams. There's nothing that team does wrong as long as they're healthy. Number four, I got the Kansas City Chiefs. I understand they lost Tyreek Hill. They've lost a couple bodies. Patrick Mahomes started off the season a little funny. He had some weird spots, looked like he was struggling. It was like we weren't watching the superstar that he always was, but he found his footing. I could see him getting back to that MVP form. I got the Chiefs at number four. At number five, this is going to shock you guys. I loved your Colts pick because I was debating. that I have him at six, but this five spot, I'm actually going with the San Francisco 49ers. Interesting. I get it. There's no quarterback. We don't know where they're going with their quarterback situation. It could be Jimmy G. Jimmy G just brought him to the NFC title game. Or they can go Trey Lance, the more dynamic. And the kid looks great in camp from what I'm hearing. And he had one NFL start where he looked very good. But that team from top to bottom, from wide receivers to defense, is frightening. And I think if they get their their stuff together at the QB position, that team can go to a Super Bowl. At number one, I had the Buffalo Bills. (laughs) I think, quite honestly, they had one of the most underrated off-seasons. You bring in Khalil Shakur out of Boise. He is the perfect utility piece in that offense. You add in Dalvin Cook's younger brother at running back. You add a little bit more to that backfield. You talked about Von Miller, of course, too. Then Jamison Crowder as well in the slot. There is so much potential in the receiver room, though they lost Cole Beasley, to continue getting better offensively. All the weapons they have. 
Devin Singletary, if he's healthy, you have Zach Moss coming to year three. I think that offense, with Josh Allen continuing to improve, is going to be easily one of the top three in the game. The defense, too, it's going to be strong. With the Rams, I think their offseason, slightly overrated. You lose Andrew Whitworth, Von Miller as well. That hurts. Those are quality starters. And now you're going to also flip Robert Williams into Allen Robinson. But A-Rob last season was not himself playing in Chicago. He was not that number one. Darnell Mooney, who we were talking about before, was the main guy there. And I wonder if Allen Robinson, if we've already seen the best from him. If that's the case, I think the Rams are still the best team in the NFC. But when I price in what the Bills can be and what the Rams can be next season, I think the Bills have more potential than them. I think adding Bobby Wagner is big as well. But even with him, like Allen Robinson, we've seen his best football. Is he going to continue to regress? That's one interesting note that I'm not sold on. So we'll have to see this upcoming season. And after those two teams, as a Steelers fan, I went back and forth between three and four. I have the Bengals at number three. You look at Joe Burrow with a full off season, a normal one, more specifically with those guys. You massively overhaul the offensive line. The defense is still going to have so many playmakers on it as well. The offense is just way too dynamic. And if you're giving Joe Burrow time in the pocket, he could easily be an all-pro this upcoming season. And when I say that, I'm looking at what he was to end last year because he tore up the NFL. And who's to say Jamar Chase won't get better too? T. Higgins. That could be the best one-two punch in the AFC at the receiver position. And it pains me to say. Number four out of the Chargers, you guys hit it well. Their offseason was pretty awesome. You had in so many stars. They really just needed to shore up that defense big time. I thought the Mike Williams extension was interesting. We'll see if he can live up to that billing. But you add in all those playmakers you guys mentioned. The Chargers, they're going to give the Rams some money. They're going to make the playoffs this coming year. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have a better record. Because the potential with that team, just like Buffalo, is high. At last but not least, number five, the guy Buccaneers. We'll see. They had the same team, very similar. I think, well, no Antonio Brown. That's, that's one of the losses, but I mean... You add stability. You know, no Antonio Brown is less chaos and dysfunction. You know what yeah. you're getting. I think bringing Godwin back, I think Cole, like, even though he tore his ACL, I believe by November, they have the depth around Mike Evans where they can be solid. And then yeah. he comes back by the playoffs, he'll be ready to go. Rob Gronkowski retired yesterday. I didn't mention that this episode. Is he the greatest tight end of all time? Because to me, I've had too many nightmares to say no, personally. Go ahead, Justin. I, I'd have to say yes, man. I think I, I've never seen a more dominating. I, I okay, growing up, there's three players that I knew day in and day out were going to dominate no matter who was guarding them. That was Randy Moss, there was Calvin Johnson, and there's Rob Gronkowski. I don't think there's any tight end that I've ever seen own a game at his healthiest. There's nobody better. Um. Oh boy, this is an interesting one for me. So I haven't really like done sufficient research on that right now. Uh, I made a list a couple of years ago um, when I think Gronk retired the first time. So he's obviously since then added more statistical uh, stats are gone up. He won another championship for God's sakes and whatnot. Um, and I think I'm going to on the fly change up my list because for me, th- this is going to be, I'm going to admit it up front, this is a personal bias right now. My number one tight end is who I would pick if I was general managing a team. Who do I want at my tight end? If I have the pick of the pick of anybody, all the greatest tight ends, who, who I want? I want Shannon Sharp because he embodies everything that I want out of a tight end. Loud mouth, not afraid to get down and dirty in the, uh, in the uh, trenches. Great run blocker for his size. He's like 6'2", 6'3". Still packing a punch by 250 plus. But man, the guy was a great run blocker. And then receiving wise, he was doing what... Imagine Shannon Sharp in, in today's in today's NFL. The guy's stats would be insane. His speed, he's what O.J. Howard should have been. O.J. Howard's speed and all that stuff that they were talking about, Shannon Sharp was that. Shannon Sharp's speed out of the tight end position was unmatched, still is. I don't think another tight end is going to be as good to him that how fast he was. 
just look at his stats that he put up. They're they're very com- uh, comparable. And, and like I said, it's more of a bias. Like this is who I would want personally. Shannon Sharp. I love the swagger. I love the confidence he has. And it's just big play Shay is what they call him, right? Okay. Hey, can I read something off to you guys real quick? Go ahead. Rob Gronkowski, four-time Super Bowl champion, four-time first-team All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowler. We don't want to count Pro Bowls, so I'll, mm-hmm. I'll take that out. NFL <laughs> Comeback Player of the Year, most touchdowns ever in a season by a tight end with 18, most 100 yeah. yards game ever by a tight end with 32, and he is a dominant blocker. Come on, man. Uh, arguably the most talented tight end we've ever seen. Can I add to that? Tony yeah, Gonzalez please. in 2004. I'm gonna by any time I'm gonna counteract that. How often do we see a tight end lead the NFL in receptions and also yards per touch in the same season? Think about not how all, crazy that all. is. Because Tony Gonzalez and did that, that was in back 04. in 04 too. And he also made uh, I don't know six All Pros, six straight All Pros is you know insane. And oh by the way, actually it was nine All Pros. Wait. Oh no. Okay, so it was nine total All Pros in ten years. But three of those were second.